Okay, now... For all of the stuff that we're putting in, it's decorative. Oh, actually, you know what? I should show you guys this, too. Um, this, even though it has green at the bottom, it is still sky. Now, the reason that I'm doing this, um, like I've got these various uh, tiles here, um, for some reason, uh, it's one of the Mario games or something, or some of them had to have used cactuses because when I was putting this together and I was trying to think of a, a funny way of just kind of mixing different games that you would see, like, uh, you know, Mario, just 2D games that we would have seen with these, you know, more primitive graphics. Uh, for some reason, it was just natural to put, you know, cactus or two. So, that's what we've got. They're all marked as sky, even though they have color to them. These right here are going to be the ones that are ground. Now, you see, there is some overlap where there's green on the, fl the ground, and there's also green on the sky. The reason being that when we draw your the person, the person is going to stand where his feet are somewhere here along the bottom. If if the ground if uh I'm trying to think here. If if all we used were big brown blocks and blue blocks and we put them in. When the guy was running along the top and it's all blue, one foot's going to be slightly hovering in the air and the other one's going to be flat on the ground. It'd be very difficult to give it a nice look. So by having a little bit of green on the sky, you know, he'll fit somewhere in between. Uh, I'm trying to put how to put this here. It'll make more sense, I guess, when we draw the guy, but his feet will be able to stand. Both feet look like they're on it. So it's almost like this is the grass as it goes off into the distance a little bit up here. So um, that'll probably make more sense as we do it. Now these two here are technically sky because I don't have any code to do anything else. So we need to put in code to tell it the difference between ground sky and ladders which you know what I don't even have any ladders in here but I had planned for it as you could tell by the sprite he had like a ladder climbing animation oh, we might do that later I might add it um, so let's see here yeah now we need to be able to tell it what kind of thing we're making ground or sky so let me close this down I'm gonna save because I haven't saved the project at all yet screwed myself over a couple times putting hours and hours into something and uh I'd forget to save and I'd somebody yank the laptop off the table or who knows what and you know a whole bunch of problems. Now again I saved it and first thing I do is shut it down and open it from the folder that I'm working in. Uh, it's just a habit. It's a good habit to have. A lot of the things that I'm showing you in these videos are very bad habits but that happens to be a good one. Um, because I will actually be generating files with this. The editor's going to have to generate a map file at some point. Uh, let's see what we should do. Alright, I'm going to be so simple as to just put two option boxes down here. You know what, I should probably do three. Copy it. Just because we may have a ladder option later. So we'll say, um, what, sky, land, and ladder. Okay. Now to organize this stuff, I probably should use a frame. These things are good for organizing. I'm going to cut this out and put it in here. I'm going to cut, where are these, there we go, cut these out, put them at the top. It's just nice because I can keep it all together. And we'll say by default. So we go down here to value is true. It's sky by default. And just slide this down here. So, um, again, I don't have as much room as you guys probably do. So when we click on a tile, it's going to ask. Here we go. It's going to put in the graphic as we wanted. But it, we're also going to say if option one dot value equals true, then tile selected A selected B equals zero equals sky. Then if option two is true and option three is true, they are land and ladder respectively. I believe those are the numbers. Yep, sky, solid, ladder. 
So okay, not land, but solid. It's all it all means the same thing. So now what we should be able to do is click a spot, say I want it to be land, put it in, click a spot, say that it's sky, and I already don't have as much room as I would like. Um, there we go. So in the it may all look similar to how it did before, but it is actually different. You know, in, in the program it is keeping track that this has a value of one. All the rest of these have a value of zero, regardless of what they look like. So that's good because when we start doing collision detection, just like we did in Pac-Man, we need to be able to determine what is a wall, what is sky, you know, or what uh, I was gonna relate this to Pac-Man, but I guess I can't use wall and sky. You use wall and floor, but it's not quite the same. Really, um, if you want to look at it like the Pac-Man game, the sky in this game is basically the floor, where you can freely move anywhere within the sky. Just you could freely move anywhere with on the floor of Pac-Man. Walls are the floor here, and any walls that we have, or cliffs or platforms, are basically just like walls in Pac-Man. Now the difference is with Pac-Man, we didn't have any special rules. Like you could just say, "I want to go up," and you'll keep going up. With this game, we're going to have rules that prevent you from just going straight up. It'll be something like, you know, jumping and stuff. And then uh, falling. So we're going to have code for jumping, code for falling, but the left and right and, uh, code is going to be very similar. Because you're just moving around. It's like a Pac-Man game and you've stuck gravity on it. Same idea. So we need to be able to save our map, as always. And I didn't show you guys in the last one, but I'm in the spirit of... Uh, crowding myself out of space I'm going to show you guys an additional thing that you may or may not be using under tools and menu editor do I put the timer on right? Yeah. Okay. Um, menu editor, here's a good one uh, a good thing to use if you've never used it in VB type file, file MNU, everybody has their own naming conventions of everything, I leave most things at their default names uh, for these videos because it doesn't confuse you but here when you're doing your menu um, options, you have to type something in. So I'm just going to use the name, like file, I'm going to say file, and then MNU for menu. You can, you can name these whatever you want. So we uh, hit OK for that one. Actually, I was supposed to keep going. We go down here. This arrow is kind of like tabbing it over. I'm going to say um, save, save MNU, and then load, load MNU, Oh, I didn't tab it over. And then finally, exit. Exit MNU. And I'll tab that one over too. Hit OK. Here's what it's done. It's put the um, ever familiar um, menu bar here at the top that everybody's used to seeing with all Windows everything, pretty much. Uh, now if you click on it here, because it has tabs, it doesn't open any code when we click on File. If we move to any one of these and we click on it, it opens up code, which is the name we had chosen, like exit MNU. Um, for here, I'm just going to say end. So if you hit exit, it's going to run that code and just exit the program. If we say save, um, rather than letting us choose uh, a file name, yeah, you know what? I probably should do that. Um, I'm going to do this first the easy way and then a slightly more complicated way that looks nicer and if you are not comfortable with the more complicated way just completely ignore it you'll be able to skip it. I'm, I'm going to try to do this so that no matter which way you've chosen everything will still work the same after this um, and I will pick up as soon as I save the video because it's already beeping at me <laughs>